the bow was well appointed. Priorities, Max. with the immediate problem first. <laughs> I had to save some valuables. The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. The bed was made. I could only guess that Passos was upstairs in the thick of it. Whatever it was. This was where Marcelo was supposed to be sleeping. He'd barely come down to this deck. Passos had the name of the bar where I was drinking my life away. I should have put things together then, instead of waiting for De Silva to walk me through it real slow. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. sucking oxygen from the room. I didn't care if I got shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. I 
breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. The pirates wouldn't get everything. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. After I got out of New Jersey, things had flared up again between the Punchinellos and the DeMarcos. Didn't look like things would die down anytime soon. I was gonna have to stay away from the only place I'd ever known. Whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't want to think about it. The boat was well appointed. Miguel! Vení por acá! There was something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for?
was on a ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. Booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel. Maybe there was something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcelo. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it, it didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. Building to get across the canal. Come on, we're gonna get her. Let's get her. Top of the tower, man. There was some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. Come on, I don't know how much 
time we have. I'm moving. Go, go, go. We can't let the taker. expected to find on a boat full of drunks and bullshit artists I'd been the cabaret act shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality <laughs> 